So there's a question that I get quite a lot. And what the people are asking is, what are the doors? If you don't know what I'm referring to, as you see on the back there, we got the nine doors, okay? Today, we're gonna to be going over a brief overview of what it is and what it means for you. We've got a beautiful nature out here around us. And so the first door is freedom. And this is so important because you cannot get to where you need to be in life if you are trapped, if you are pinned down by everything around you, or maybe it's yourself. So these are a lot of things that we need to address. So moving on to the next door. Door number two is opportunities. And the reason why we put this there is number two is because once you're freeing yourself from all the things that have restricted you, you can then open the doors to opportunities. And if there are no opportunities to take, let's make them. Let's open the doors to opportunities, okay? Moving on to number three. So the third door is reason. What do we mean by reason? So reason is actually talking about, are you thinking about the decisions that you're making? Are you thinking about the doors that you're opening? Or are you just taking any opportunity willy-nilly? On to number four. So the fourth door is relationships. This is really important because if we want to get to where we need to be, we've got to build some bridges, okay? It's very important that we pick carefully who we're going to be around. Who's going to be there in our lives to share our moments? Is this benefiting me? Is this benefiting them? Is this going to contribute to a better future? So that's door number four, okay? Moving on to number five. So the fifth door is well-being. Well-being isn't just about going to the gym and eating well. It's your overall attitude towards yourself. You want to look after your body. You want to protect your energy. And not only do we have to take care of this world, but we have to take care of ourselves as well. Because if we don't do that, how are we going to expect to get to where we need to be? Number six is ambitions. Are you taking the risks that you need to be taking? Are you taking all the chances that you could be taking? Are you living up to your ambitions? Are you living up to your dreams? Take the challenge and go do something today that you've never done before. Do something that scares you. It doesn't matter what it is. Just expand on those ambitions. Open them doors. Moving on to number seven. Okay, so the seventh door is sustainability. Sustainability is so important for many reasons. We've got to make sure that if we've got these ambitions, if we've got these opportunities and friends, is it something that can last? And I don't just mean you can make it last, I mean something which will grow, something which will blossom like a tree, like the nature around us. Moving on to number eight. Here we're talking about integrity. Integrity is not doing the right thing when people are there, it's about doing the right thing when people aren't there. It's about staying true to your colours even when there's no one there to even see the colours. Even when you're colour blind, you stay integral to what you believe in. And moving on to the last one, number nine. Number nine is support. This is so important and the reason why I've left this as a last door is because once you've got yourself to a place where you need to be in life, it is your duty, it is your social responsibility to bring others up with you. Think about a tree. A tree has its roots so deep embedded in the ground and it's connected with all the other trees. They stay together, they work together. I mean, right now I'm literally right under a tree. You can see the roots right here, right above me. We've got to support each other. We've got to take care of each other. We've got to look after one another. Okay, everyone, that's it. That's been the nine doors. I'm so glad for all you that are watching. I hope you've learned a little bit something new about what we're doing with Outsider. But yeah, let me know what you think. I'm always looking forward to hearing what everyone has to say. And make sure you drop a comment, drop a like. If you're not following already, make sure you follow Outsider. You subscribe to our YouTube channel, our Instagram, everything. We are a community. We are a family. We are outsiders. But yeah, that's just about everything. Thank you all for watching.